Hey, Orange One here. We are back with Rodan, and I wanted to make my way down to uh, Serenid country. We're probably going to make our way over there, but before we do that, I want to go check out a city because I want to see what we can do as a merchant. As a merchant character, we got, um, we got some points in trade already. I could already actually... I think... You know, we're going to do some fighting, so that could be worth it. But I think we're going to want trade goods to be a better deal. So I'm going to go with that. We're going to go with Wholesaler. Let's just start off the episode by getting some perks. Yep, absolutely. Um, We do not have enough. It looks like we're almost there for bows. Okay, cool. I'm down for that. Um, Same with melee. It's going to take a little while. I'm going to hold off on spending my focus points for now until I find uh, something that I want to spend it on. I mean, steward is pretty good, so I might go with that, but for now I'm gonna hold off on spending those till I, I can know the game a little bit better. Let's go to Lycaron. Let's go check the city out, huh? I do want to walk around a little bit. I do want to go to the tavern. I already went here a little bit. Um, before I started recording that I like reloaded back up. So let's just kind of show you what the town looks like first though. We'll go to the tavern and we'll do all that. I might even use part of the episode as like a little tutorial on taverns. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, if we go into the map here. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. It looks like we're in our, uh, our customary garb here as a Serenid. Um, you can kind of see that on us right here. Oh, I guess we don't have our gloves anymore. That's weird. I guess we don't get the items from the tutorial. It kind of makes sense. So we're in Imperial areas. So if I talk to him, what does he do? Nothing? Aw, oh, man, really? The first NPC says nothing. There's like a little geese or something. I'm a little bit disappointed by that. Oh, look, so if I hold down all, I get all these different things. There's like quests and all kinds of stuff. And if you talk to these random villagers, they'll tell you stuff. So these guys just give you essentially... Um, I think these are like quest givers, like this person. Adamos the spider. Whoa, that was kind of weird. I do want to talk to you. Or no, you're the spider. You look like you're no good. But I probably want to be friends with you. Sure, let's go get a quest. If, um, did he say that he'll meet me in the alleyway? I don't know. I thought he did. I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's go ahead and go to the tavern though. Where's the tavern at? Oh, the back street. Oh, that dude wants me to go to the back street. I see. There's the dungeon, Lord's Fall, waterfront. Tavern's all the way over there. We'll we'll get to it. Don't worry. We will get to it. I'm just curious. Yeah. Oh, then they'll tell him. Sure, follow me. No way. That's pretty cool. So if I know of a person, they'll take me to them. Well, it's kind of is pointless though because we um. Hopefully, we don't die in in this back street. I feel like we might. What is this? This is a bizarre location. Can I get through there? No? How do I get there? This is the pottery shop, so we can't go through the pottery shop. Well, at least it's not like going full on Skyrim on us and making us uh, like navigate um, with a little line on the floor. I hate, hate that so much. It looks like we can get there, yeah, by going down and around. Okay, cool. We'll do that. I do like these cities. They've got a nice little accent to them with, like, the pots and, and the villagers carrying the items and all that. It's super cool. I liked having that little goose, geese, or whatever fowl that was. I bet, I wonder if we could just load up the back street. I bet that that works. Oh, there's a horse trader right here. He's not got his own little thing over his head, does he? No, I didn't see that. I think we al we already have a horse. We might not, actually. We're on foot right now, so I think we might want to get ourselves a horse. 
We'll see. So that one dude wanted to meet me in the back street, right? Wasn't that uh We've got no quest. Why is this location marked then? Are they coming to me now? No. Okay, well I'm out of here. <laughs> that was that was enough just standing around. Let's go let's go to the tavern. Yeah, so this is I I really think I'm gonna spend a fair amount of time in here in game. But this is a super cool place. It's got um I would imagine your companion that we can recruit. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. The merchants give you jobs? Well, <laughs> I am a merchant. <laughs> I, I cannot afford you. You're an expensive lady. Um, <laughs> not a good thing to say in a tavern. <laughs> uh, let's see, can I request songs? No, he's just gonna sing. Uh, what if I just talk to these guys? Oh, they can tell you about, um, some trade routes. Cool, so if, uh, you're a slaver, huh? This is, like, literally the same menu as a uh, warband. Well, it looks like we... I don't have any prisoners, so okay. See ya. I thought we had some from the um, little starter quest. You know what we're gonna do? Sure. Do I... like, get a drink now? Like, how does this work? I'm not sure. Um, nope, nope. I can't leave without my drink. Did I spend my money? No, I don't think I spent money. Enjoying your drink? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, I guess that's not in the game yet. Um, let's see what is in the game, though. It looks like there's a number of people eating down there. And people up here. We could sit on those. Looks like they've got the rooms, but not much else in here. I do want to play the game, though, because I did spend a minute on that. Um before I started recording. So this dude, the game host, have, I'm sure they'll actually give him a proper name, but they just want to make him clear for now. So, it'll, if you're interested in start playing, take a seat and we'll start. Okay, so I need to line up this chair, but like if I'm pressing F and I'm looking at it, it's not gonna let me sit down in it. I need to be like positioned just right. It's kind of, glitchy, but I'm sure they'll get sorted out. I actually just held down F there and that, that seemed to work. And then I can talk to you. Um, let's start on easy because I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna say that um, Rodan has never played this game before. I only love it. I my best. You have to up the difficulty. Let's keep the difficulty where it's at. Maybe, maybe let's do normal then. So what is this game? Tell me about it. So we gotta have the king escape, they're attacking from every direction. Okay, so it's basically get this one piece out and, you're and someone else is trying to keep it in. Alright, let's play and see how it goes. Um, let's try and get the king out. How to play, we should probably click on that first. It's not going to give me other tutorials. Secure the king. Okay. Can't jump, but they can move around vertically. Oh, once the king crosses, he can't move back over the center tile. Okay. You capture them by surrounding both sides. Okay. King wins if they get sledge. Okay. I think I got it. 
Um, I think I got that idea. So do I move first? Um, what if I move you there? Oh. I see. I see how it is. You can play that game. Um, you're trying to get my king right there. I can see it. And then you're gonna try and get over there. Well, I might as well take this guy out, right? Hey, what are you trying to do? I'm confused. I can try and get the king out here, but then you're gonna come down and get him. What if I just keep on whittling away right over here? What if I do like that? Yep, let's see what move you do. You're not gonna take my guy, I see what you're doing. Um hmm. You are in a bit of a pickle now. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do. <laughs> There's so many, so many good opportunities, right? I suppose I could move the king up here and then take that guy out. If I move the king up here, is there any... Oh, they, they would win the game, actually. They could bring him down. That'd be game over. But if I went there, would you be able to lock me out? You would be able to, is concerning me. Um, hmm. I'm kind of at a loss. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I think I should probably move you here and then we'll take that guy out next turn. Let's go with that. Okay, what is it that you're trying to do? I don't know what he's trying to do over here. He's trying to be a clever boy. Um, I kind of want to move the king out. I feel like that's also a bad move, but they're kind of weak on this side if I can kind of limit their movement. If I get the king here, that removes you. I think I want to start doing that. Let's get the king out and over. Oh no, they won! I didn't even see that move. Okay. Um, let's play... Hold on. I'm going to do it for some, some money. Or am I? I mean, we are a gamer. That is our let's play character. Let's, let's just take a minute to do that. Um, and change the amount. Sure, let's play it the hardest. Um, I'm not going to blow all of my money because I'm probably going to lose this. But it's a. Uh, we'll continue as defenders and we'll, we'll do essentially a similar strategy to what we did last time. So you're trying to take that guy out, huh? Well, we're gonna do that. How are you gonna respond? Okay. You're just trying to bait me, though. I can tell. Like, if I'm moving these guys out, you're gonna do something really nasty. What is it that you're trying to do? He's doing some sort of advanced strategy. I can feel it in my bones. I mean, this guy now can't get taken out. So I could... Try and get the king out of here, maybe. And these guys are kind of still protecting him. So many options. Okay, we're just gonna do the obvious move, even though I know that he's he's doing this on purpose. Uh, you're trying to take him out. I'm kind of okay with losing this guy if I can clear out like that dude right there. Which I'm not sure if I can even do. But if I move you, this dude's gonna come down. Now we're gonna be in all kinds of trouble. Hmm. 
well. If you try and go for that, I'm gonna go for this. Just to block the other side. Let's see how you respond, because I don't I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make a play for getting the king out of here. Because most of his pieces are up there anyways, the king's not gonna go that way. Um What are you trying to do over there? King, I want you here. I think I may have won. Nope. Never mind. I have not won. Um What if I move you here? What is he gonna do? I'm gonna try and take this dude out. Uh, this could be a little bit tricky though. What if I... If I could get adjacent there or there. I'm gonna do that. Let's see what you do. How many turns in advance are you thinking? Oh no, he is thinking a number in advance. Okay. Well, I can do that. And what's your response? Really? I mean, I can just move him up there, right? And the king's still safe, I think. Please tell me the king is still safe. Yeah, he still looks like he's relatively safe. I mean... I move this dude, and then the king, he just moves south, right? I I think I've won. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've won. Isn't the king supposed to get to the edge and then you win? Hey, I won! I got some gold. Well, that's 100 gold that wasn't too too difficult to earn. Nice. I might have to do that with a higher bet. Um, and we definitely, we still can't afford, what's her name, Rosia, but things went well there. Well enough, at least. Um, let's leave, and I want to see about recruiting some people, but I'm not really sure if we can re recruit in the city or not, but if I remember correctly, the recruit options are kind of up here. Um... Oh, these dudes, you got some powerful dudes here. The Ironmonger, you've got a lot of influence, and you're a merchant, so I should probably make friends with you. We'll do a little bit of stuff in, in this city, befriend these people, and, and make our way over. I'm kind of wanting to just kind of explore the city, just so people can see a little bit more about that. Okay. I wish to form a caravan in this town. Oh no. Never mind. Uh, pleasure to meet with you. Okay, that was... That guy did not have anything for me. If I'm trying to do recruits... How do I do that? Um, it's probably... Not merchants, huh? There's gang leaders there. There's a lot of gang leaders. Well, we could get involved with the gangs. Let's let's uh let's talk to these merchants and see what's up with them. Cause I got a feeling there's there's gotta be some quests in here. Pottery shop. Okay. That's a shame. What about this artisan? Will he... Will he trade... with me? Or give me a quest? Yeah, none of these dudes uh, have recruits by the looks of it. Do you have to go to the village to get recruits? Oh, recruit troops. There we go. There we go. So we could get some crummy troops for 20 apiece. One, two... 
Let's just get as many as the game lets me right now. Um, and sure, we'll we'll spend the 120 gold on that. That is essentially what we just got in our our games leadership. Um, so if I look here, my leadership is now six. Huh. Oh, the skill is six. I thought it was like level six or something. Sure, that's. I mean, that's not even worth it. Let's just take a second to look at our skills. I'm gonna do wholesaler trading goods, and we're gonna work the markets here. We're gonna click around and see if I can figure that out. Yeah, I mean, we could do some fighting. That's probably what y'all want me to do. Um, the units are so trash, though. Uh, what else should I do? Man, I want a quest. Give me a quest, yo. Yeah, I'm gonna just try and see what that guy said about that back alley again. Oh, what's going on there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it was doing so good, too. What about the Saya the Needle? Never mind. I must leave now. Okay. I guess they all don't have quests for me as of right now. How do you get quests, then? If these guys won't give me anything, then where do you get the quests from? It seems to me like these are the people you get the quests from. Maybe they just haven't populated all of them quite yet. Yeah, it seems to me like there should be like some quest options from these people that we're just not getting. Um, let's leave, then, if the quests aren't really built into the game. Uh... Actually, hold on. We should probably just get a little bit of food. No, we'll get some food in the village on our way. We're going to go to there. Uh, if I click that... Oh, it's like a little bookmark. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. So if I go back to myself, can I like right-click over there? Yeah, I can. And then my character starts just moving. Oh, by the way, um, or not. It seems that they did not just keep on moving. Go over here. Okay, we are kind of moving. Then I can hit one, two, and three, and that changes the speed. Huh. It appears that the game... Okay, there's some looters here. I'm going to go kill them. I, I wouldn't mind a little bit more uh, cash money. Yeah, we're going to attack them, and I'm going to just have my guys, like, hold out on a hill somewhere. Follow me! And I'm going to harass these dudes. Oh, I do have a horse. Good. I was actually a little worried about that. Okay, those dudes are coming our way. Move! You guys Forward! can hold this hill. I'm going to go kill some dudes. Let me just get a little closer, get on top of this hill. Oh, missed. Oh, they do have some stones or something that they're tossing at me. Oh, I'm I'm terrified. Oh, missed again. Missed again. We gotta get some kills soon. There we go. If I ho slow it down, I should be able to aim better. Man, these dudes are taking uh, a number of arrows. I'm impressed. There we go. Was that a headshot? If it was, it didn't give it to me. Maybe I should uh, get a little hand-to-hand -hand combat. Follow me! Guys, you can come to me. I'm going to try and get some first. Yep. Oh, there we go. Killed him. Okay, the looters aren't so bad with the melee. They seem to be pretty slow, actually. That was actually easier than the tutorial. Cool. Perfect, flawless victory. 
Our first of many. No, we're just some lowly merchant. I'm feeling kind of bad about that as a rule player. Because we're supposed to be role playing this, like, gamer dude. And here I am. I just wrecked a bunch of people. Um, this is lighter weight, and it gives more body armor. I kind of don't like the fact that we're going away from our... Um, our thob. It's temporary. We'll get... We'll get um, some more stuff that's more aligned up with our character, like the Kefia. Um, if I mispronounce anything, please tell me. I hate when when people do that. Uh, okay. Total encumbrance is 12. Oh, nice. I like how it keeps track of that individually. It looks like I can uh, spend some points. Oh, I got an attribute point. What do I want to spend that on? I kind of want to spend on control because I feel like we're going to want to get better with the archery. Yeah, let's improve our marksman. But without spending anything else, we're not going to get the fast aim or the strong pool. Yeah, we're going to spend a focus point on bows. I might even spend multiple on it. Yeah, we're going to spend multiple on it. That's good for now, though. Um, and we are going to go wholesaler. I want to lock that down. I don't know if there's an indicator that... Okay, I think that that symbol that was in the corner there indicates that you can spend points, yeah. Village raids, faster village raids, more loot. If we're going to raid, we're going to want to do it quickly. That seems to make sense to me. Okay. Um, let's keep on making our way to our destination, eh? I'm, I'm still kind of confused about the time and how it passes and why we're being stopped in place. It doesn't seem like we're being stopped in place there, though. Okay, there's a pretty big group of looters. Part of me wonders if I should wait for them to attack a group or get attacked by a group, but part of me thinks I should just go around them. I don't think I can actually go around them, unfortunately. Uh, they're kind of moving away from me, so I think we're okay. I think that caravan... Oh, you can just go over the water like that? Yeah, I want to go there. If I can. That'd be awesome. If it... No, it wasn't that I held down shift or something weird like that. Go go kill some more looters. Also, actually, can I just look at my party? Yes, I can rec I can level up one of these dudes. Um, Imperial Archer, Infantryman... Let's get an Archer. I, I think having another bow against looters will just make our lives a little bit easier. I kind of also want to let our dudes just charge in. I think I might... No, I'm going to get myself a little bit more experience, a little bit more combat experience. I'll tell them to get on kind of a high spot and hold the ground. Yeah, this looks decent no! enough. Because they're going to be coming from over there. Oh, they're archers? They're not archers. I mean, I guess technically they can do a bit of archery. But they're not really archers. There we go. Getting distracted, are we? There we go. Yeah, you guys can just charge in there. They're kind of spread out. Yeah, we might lose someone, though. No. Nope. Okay. I even got another shot in there. Okay, they did kill one of my dudes. So... They did get one of us. Maybe I'll get some experience doing first aid there, and that might help with that level. Cool. Um, yeah. Looks good to me. Oh, we got a spiked mace. I don't think that's going to be better than what we already have, but maybe. You never know. What about the shoes? Are those better than what I have? Uh, no, they are not. <laughs> they don't even compare. 
kind of weird. Um, I don't have any gloves, do I? I do. Ooh, armbands. There we go. That's better than nothing. Just barely. Um, and cloak. We don't see any cloak now, do we? These are all body armors. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoa. Look at all this. Civilian clothing versus... Battle outfit. Melee weapons. Oh, wow. There's some cool little filters there. I like that a lot, actually. How does this compare? That's one-handed. 149, 197. It's actually technically better. Um, it is also a blunt weapon. Its length is is much shorter, so I'm not going to do it. I, I like having a little bit of a longer reach on my weapons. Uh, I do like how you can kind of be like... Um, you can track certain locations like that. I just right-clicked on that, by the way. That's what brought up that menu. So if I click here, I'm just trying to experiment with things. And I double-click there. There needs to be a way to be like, hey, go there. Okay, I think I just did. Um, cool. I'm, I'm liking the feel of things. Okay, we are, we just lost some gold. Oh, but people can now level up. Okay, cool. Uh, looter, I could recruit you. Nah. Sorry, dude. Um, I think now is a good time to end things, though, because we are at around half an hour recording time. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One. And if you want to see more, please like and subscribe. Um, comments always pleases the algorithm if you put in a comment, even if you say just to appease the algorithm. Um, that really helps. I am going to try and get some promotional things out there, but I need to figure it out a little bit more. But I do have some merchandise that I would like you all to check out, um, or the Patreon. If you don't want to buy anything and you want to support me, which to me is preferred, check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description, as well as um, the merchandise. I actually just got a shirt designed and printed out, and I'll post a picture of me wearing it, and hopefully some of you guys will do the same. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining me. I'll see you around.